Well, I uh, can't say that I interacted with a lot of the participants a whole lot. Um, I was, felt like I was running around finding cables and cords and batteries and that. But uh, we went through the sessions and I was able to kind of get kind of prodded and, you know, whatever. People kind of said, just relax, Brick. Just relax. It was good. It was fine. And I was like, okay. So it was actually, the first day was good. But I was, uh, you know, happy that we just kind of got through the first day. Oh, that's very nice, I think. Um, we had this game and um, it was really nice to, to meet all the people and to remember the names again. And so so um, I like those, those uh, games, those energizers uh, a lot. Um, and it was also very interesting. I did tabletop movie making. And I really like that style, like just puppets. And it's very easy to to make a, a film, you know, with with that that box. And it's, it's just one package. Are you looking forward to tomorrow? Yes, uh, more cables and cords and batteries. And I won't talk to anyone. I'll be very stressed out. Uh, I'm gonna eat by myself and uh, just walk fast in a direction towards a wall and then turn around and then walk the other way. Uh, that's, my, that's my main plan. Don't talk to me, because I'm very busy. We had this, this, this game, we were lost. So we had a plane crash, and you have to tell um, how the group uh, mixed up. It was really nice to, to use you, your imagination and uh, to, to make uh, a fiction story. And all, all the people there at Burn Island was very much fun. Tell us about the interpreting machine. We know you know how to use it. Hello there. <laughs> what do you think about day two in this workshop? Well, day two was very, very interesting. Um, we got to do a little bit of tabletop uh, video making. Uh, so we spent a couple of hours putting together our little sets and our story, and then we filmed it um, in pieces and we edited it together. It was really, really challenging, but great fun uh, and a good, a good experience. Fantastic day. I really, really enjoyed it. I've learned so much new skills, and I really think I can use this in my work. Because before I came here, I was media illiterate, and now at least I have some skills to bring back to work. Hello, Shane. Uh, I did the bra. I did the Norwegian part of Shane. That's good. <laughs> what do you think about day two? What's the best of this day? So far today, for me, the best, and um, because you're you're standing in the room, it doesn't. It wasn't because you're here, but for me, my passion is, is trying to make documentaries or attempting to make documentaries. So the discussion um, that took place during the documentary session for me was the highlight. Um, I got a bit of energy to hopefully leave this exchange with um, with fuel for my fire and, and to go back to the young people that I'm working with. Um, and, and I think we've already got the the, the, um, the skills and we've got the young people with enthusiasm and passion for making documentaries about what they think um, they can make a difference to in, in their communities. So the documentary session for me was higher. Anything that you dislike? down sort of something like that well if i if i'm being honest before before dinner time i was getting kind of sleepy um but uh, the the facilitator quickly picked up on it and started talking loudly and got us to do an energizer and we all after the after shane's energizer we all kind of woke up again if it should be anything that you did dislike what should that be if i dislike something okay i'll be really honest so far I've enjoyed everything I've done and um, I've enjoyed meeting new people and um, there's nothing I've really dis disliked except for not getting enough sleep. My own fault entirely. Go to bed at 5 o'clock, be woken at half 7 for a shower. It's not good for a full day's work. But apart from that we've had a great time. For me the elephant in the room and I know for Shane that one of the organisers as well it was the same that was a conversation that took place last night between myself and Aya from Israel um, because of the ongoing situation at the moment in, in the Middle East and because of my um, uh, passion which is um, 
conflict resolution and certainly in Palestine right now the injustice going on. Um, I felt it was going to be difficult for me to have these conversations with Aya. So um, when I got that out of the way and we talked and we humanized each other and we, we actually had a bit of fun last night just exchanging stories about her land and, um, and where I was living over in the Middle East, I think I felt a lot more relieved today to, to just let my you know, guard down and I'll be myself. So today's been a good day. Um, I've enjoyed it and um, I think the group has as well. So, so far, so good. Hi, this is day three in this workshop. How do you think this day has been? You're asking only about today or in today? Today, just day. Day, day think, three. I think it's getting better every day. So today is probably the best day that I had since I got here. Um, the the experience in the Irish pub is definitely helping, especially the beer. And um, I'm getting a lot of information, and that's good because that's what I, that's why I came here. Hello, Eric. Hello. This is day three in this workshop. What do you think about this day? This day, uh, let's see, what we did we do? Uh, we made some documentary session too. Uh, and yeah, I really like this. It, uh, I learned a lot and I talked to people that actually, you know, share the same interest and stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we did the comic stuff also. Uh, I like this really much. It was... Uh, Pretty cool. I, I touched this program before, so but uh, this was more to the full extent. This day has been um, very interesting, and I had a lot of fun today. What's interesting about it? Um, no, I feel more relaxed today, um, and then I have time to like. I don't know. I had a lot of fun because of the comics that we made and uh, it's been interesting because now I'm more like the first days I need time to you know, get to know people, get to understand what we were really doing and what we're going to learn but today I was more ready to, to learn and absorb everything and um, now I feel very comfortable in this situation and the people here are so nice and uh, you know, so much interesting people. What do you think of this day three? Uh, I think so far we've we've stuck to the plan and everything's going pretty well and we're learning a lot and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. If you're going to pick uh, a highlight from today, what should that be? I don't know if it was today or yesterday, but you said something that like I can I can't forget. You said, "Don't under underestimate youth, because they they have the they have the will to change and they have the energy to change. So never underestimate them." And it's something that I I'm thinking about and I'm processing since I heard it. I don't know if it was today or yesterday, but it's something that's definitely in my mind. Any downs? Any not that good? Today? Mm -hmm. That must be that I was very tired today. Because it's, you know, it's a long day, we are staying up late in the night. And, um, but no, that's the only thing. I have sometimes problem you know, to concentrate. Uh, except that it's something good. And if, if, if there were any downs, what were they? Uh, I would say the early start after the night that was in it before, but yeah, the, the early start. <laughs> if you should keep point the highlights of this day, what should that be? Hmm. I think it's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking the beer. <laughs>